Hey, we want to, um, Debbie and I both want to thank you for, for coming oh, sure. over and talking to us a little bit about this uh, um, uh, product safety piece, especially as it relates to children. And uh, I mean, as a mom, over the last several months, I, I've just been, and, you know, Kendrick's a dad, so disturbed. And I have to tell you, after the first round of recalls, I, I literally walked in my kid's play, playroom and just looked around and wondered, where, where do I begin? I mean, just now walking in here, I, I realized I have this toy right here mm -hmm. and didn't do anything with it yet. And, you know, I have, you know, eight-year-olds and four-year-olds, and, uh, you know, it, it's just, this is something that as we approach the holiday season, um, you know, we, we've got to make sure that we can restore parents' confidence mm -hmm. in the retail market for toys, but also restore their faith in government that, there's a system in place to protect them. Tell us a little bit about this we have here. Uh, these, these are another version of the magnet toys that have been recalled. And again, what happens with the magnet toys is that they fall out of the holders. They're very small. They look like candy. The child could swallow the ball and the magnet, or a couple of the balls and the magnet, and that would be the problem. Uh, and the, the magnet, uh, aside from being a choking hazard, can also cause internal damage. Well, to, to be clear, the magnet is actually so small uh, that they normally don't choke on it. It goes right down mm -hmm. and gets trapped in the intestines. If you swallow two or three of them, uh, they all stick together in the intestines, uh, and they clog the intestines. Mm -hmm. They clog across the stomach wall. Yeah. Uh, it's it's um, something that uh, Kenny Sweet uh, was a little child who died from this, and other children have had emergency surgery because of it. And although all the toys were made in China, Mattel has admitted that it was a design flaw with some of their magnet toys. So they designed it badly, and that's why the magnets are falling out of the toys. So we need to have stronger rules. <coughs> We need to have stronger rules so that the companies are required to do better testing. The CPSC hasn't enforced the law. But most of the recent recalls have been about two other hazards. Mm -hmm. The first one is lead, like the little wagon. Yes. And uh, parents should know. This is a Thomas the Tank Engine. Wagon. Exactly. See, I know that because my little girls love Thomas the Tank Engine. And we have this lead filled Thomas the Tank Engine toy here. So I'm upset about this. Now, where Congress can improve toy laws dramatically is lead paint is banned, but the levels of lead paint ban are at 1970s scientific levels. And the doctors who have testified have said, well, 600 parts per million should be reduced to 100 parts per million on the lead paint. And then second, of course, the companies didn't test for it. Mattel relied on a Chinese representation that the toys they were making in the factory for Mattel had been tested for lead paint.